Hey there, folks, and welcome to the recap for this week's e-learning challenge. Uh, e-learning buzzword bingo games was the topic, and we got some fantastic examples. So I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the examples that were shared over the last week. Obviously, the challenges are still open, so please keep on submitting your examples. But here's what we had as of Thursday morning. First up, we had Matt Guyan, who shared his DevLearn bingo game. It's kind of a spot the spot the speaker, spot the industry person, and click them off as you uh, find them. He also offered, when we you'll see when we get through all of the, uh, the people here, if you click everyone, you then now get an option to uh, get a selfie and tweet out the picture. So really cool creative idea from Matt in this week's challenge. So great way to kick off the challenge. Okay, so next up is Jane, who had this simple e-learning game around industry terms. Kind of like this approach too. First off, it's really well designed, but I like that she enabled the toggle states for each of the buttons. So the selected and deselected states there. So you can kind of practice your terms as you go through. Uh, Jane also offered a printable card. So if you want to print that up and maybe bring it to your next lunch and learn, that's a really good option. But um, uh, just another really great idea and a great um, game idea from Jane for practicing your e-learning industry terms. So cool, cool idea. Okay, so NFL buzzword bingo. Like the intro animation here for the, uh, the kickoff or the, uh, the actual interaction. Let me go ahead and skip that because it's a little loud. Really cool game concept here, really nicely designed with uh, common icons and graphics for football. And as you click each of these, you uh, mark them off and you get a little score uh, keeper down here that, that tells you how many more you have to go. And once you complete each of these, you'll actually be taken to a, a success screen. So let me just get a couple more right here. Bad call ref, we could have thrown a couple more in those. And finally you get access to the bingo button and then you can view your success layer. So uh, another really great concept this week from uh, Matthew in the Bingo Challenge. I'm going to close that one out just because the audio is still playing. Here's a really neat idea. Uh, I think we got a couple of them here for resume bingo. And this is you're going to review resumes. And each time you come across a certain resume bingo term, you go ahead and mark them off. I think I need to scroll down just a little bit here. So here we go. Nice use right here, a little subtle use of motion path animations. And then you get the sort of the sticky card note effect as you click off each of the, oh, very common resume bingo terms. And you get the option here to uh, play again and continue. So really good example from Bob this week and also first time challenger. So welcome to the challenges, Bob. And Monica took us up on the Princess Bingo card. We've already printed this out. So thank you, Monica. Ellie appreciates this. But just a really nicely designed bingo card. It's a PDF format of really famous princesses and some famous quotes from the game. So uh, next time you need to bet, uh, you have a binge watch of uh, Disney films, you want to maybe print this out and keep it around. Certainly would be fun. So very nicely done, Monica. And another first time challenger, Steven this week, really like this game. He's got some cool ideas here. First off, it's all based around just common learner complaints for bingo, uh, not com common complaints for bingo, but common complaints for e-learning. It, sometimes it's boring, sometimes it's repetitive. And what's nice is he kind of highlights the column. You see that little red call out right there. So I'm gonna go across right here. And then you highlight uh, each time you get something in a row. But you may not notice first, or you do, is down here, we actually have a learning designer who's being slowly moved across the plank. And at some point, if you mark off too many of these during the course, there he goes. And a shark pool looks like, right? So now you might wanna keep this as some sort of measure or checklist to make sure that your learners don't complete this card in a single course. So a really nice uh, idea and concept here, Steven. And here's a really positive bingo card from Rachel this week, and it's really about compliments. So your card is really sort of a mission for you to give compliments, and you can kind of mark those off or keep track of the compliments you've given in a given week, and hopefully you'll receive, hopefully you'll earn bingo a few times because you've given out so many 
positive compliments. So really cool idea, uh, Rachel, and how you frame this and as well as kind of turning it around and it's more about what you've done rather than um, maybe words that you've heard. So nice little uh, twist on this week's challenge. And Blair shares this fun example for reasons you missed or he missed DevLearn, right? So um, can't go to DevLearn this year for whatever reason. You can't play Matt's game for uh, getting your selfies with industry people. Well, what are the reasons you couldn't make DevLearn? And this is actually a funny, humorous approach for uh, marking off your own bingo reasons why you, you couldn't make it. So uh, great to see this example from Blair, who was also one of our very first challengers. So I just always remember that, Blair, because you really were uh, in there in the early days. So welcome to the challenges. Welcome back. And this example from Melissa, I think it's still in process. I think she's she's always working with some advanced JavaScript or actually finding ways to really extend storylines. So um, it's not quite working, but you can kind of get the idea here that you're being asked to find objects that go with each of the princesses. So as you play through each of these, you'll see the different objects and mark them off and you get points. But uh, it's at this point when I recorded this, it wasn't fully working, but I know that she's been working with some users who are uh, given some assistance with the JavaScript, but a really cool concept and you can get a really good idea of where she's going with this. And next up, I think is Tom's. Yeah. So with the, uh, the regrow foods example, let me let this load. So he found a really neat infographic along with some uh, supporting graphics and then just use the storyline zoom picture here to zoom into each of the graphics. So kind of like a flashcard approach, uh, like we've seen our, our earlier with as you click each of these, you get to kind of view or get to see more of them. Um, obviously, it's laid out like a bingo card and just a really simple use of the, uh, the zoom picture, which is a built in feature in storyline. So really neat, neat example right here. And another a fun approach for e-learning resume bingo. So again, these games might make sorting through hundreds or dozens of resumes a lot more fun. So you're just looking for common keywords. And what's nice about this one I like is how it uses the little feedback layer to show uh, success a lot as along the way. So as you click each of these markers off, you get a change of state, but then you also get a quick uh, animated slide layer to show and uh, just show your progress and that you're actually getting it correct couple keep going messages and at some point we're going to see successful bingo there we go right on and you want to retry and keep playing so um, might be a fun one to load up with a few of your friends or a few HR folks as you're going through uh, bingo cards going through resumes not bingo cards awesome example gamification elements and theories bingo card so another flashcard kind of approach where you can toggle each of these uh, on and off, but really just maybe a good self um, evaluation on how many of these terms you are familiar with and then maybe uh, how you would use those in your own course. So certainly a lot of interest around gamification elements in e-learning, and this is a really great bingo game to help you practice and obviously identify some terms that maybe uh, you need to learn more about. So really great example. Project management bingo, nicely designed here, another portrait layout, so I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of scrolling, but just another one of those games you can bring to identify common project management buzzword terms used in a, uh, a kickoff meeting. What I like on this, a little different approach, is that as you hear the terms, you're using visited states to actually reveal sort of the, the, the graphic icon. So you see you have your game board with nothing but the terms, but as you click these and you get the that visual feedback for each of the terms. So a nice little kind of uncover, uncovering approach for uh, bingo cards. Also kind of gamifies the game, uh, gamifies the game, kind of makes it a little bit more of a game because you want to, right, not only get bingo, but you also want to reveal as many of these as you can. You'll also notice that she offered the option for, um, so like I think I'll get bingo right here vertically. You actually get the success screen every time you get um, the five in a row, but then you also get the option to keep playing, which is also a nice touch. Okay, so really cool example here from Megan. And I think this next one did not load. Let me come. All right, so I'm not sure why it didn't load, just needed to refresh the page. But here's our classic e learning buzzword bingo game, right? Adaptive, personalized, mobile. So for some folks, these might be overused terms that you hear 
thrown around all the time. But for others, it's a hey, this is a good reminder of some basic concepts and terms that you need to learn more about. So really glad uh, we have this example in this week's challenge. So thank you very much, Elizabeth. Okay, and finally we have Alex's example. Boy, he's got a lot going on in this one. Number one. Um, Watch and a lot of things are going. So he's going to throw out a term number two using audio, and then the second task is to then drag this little marker onto the corresponding chip or or card or square here. And then, just to keep things interesting, you also have a timer that's built in up here. So you really have to move quickly. So gamification, right? I've got to evaluate all these, but then I've got the pressure of the timer up here. I'm getting close. I already know what it is, Billy, because I've played it. But I like the little state change on the marker. Oh, I didn't get it over there quick enough, but it was right there. Anyway, really great example here from Alex. And just want to thank everyone one more time for jumping into the challenge this week. Remember, these challenges are open, which means that... Let me close that out. Uh, you can jump in anytime. I just did the recap here Thursday morning, but uh, we will continue to add your examples as soon as you add them to the challenge. And really appreciate everyone who shared an idea, a demo, a source file, or even just commented or participated in the challenge. It really means a lot to us. So thank you very much for that. And we'll see you in tomorrow's challenge. And thanks once again.